All right, so I just want to do a quick PSA about the Legendary Challenge event and Super Strikes. Uh, if you guys haven't already seen it, I did release a Super Strike video about last week. I'm going to leave it at the end of this video, so if you want to check it out, go ahead towards the end of the video. Um, essentially, I go over all the strike characters and what SSRs they feed into. I'm going to briefly mention it here, but I go really in-depth in that video. So check that out if you're looking to grind out some SSRs. Now, Legendary Challenge campaign. What's going on with this? Essentially... You need the well, LR Goku first off is going to be available uh, for a long period of time. His event's going to be open. I believe his event is going to be half stamina. Um, we don't know anything about the event at this time. We don't know if the drop rates are increased, which I'm thinking they are. We don't know if he's going to get the fourth stage added on. If you guys aren't aware, there is a fourth stage that got added on to the JP side of Dokkan Battle, and it allowed, well, it made Goku, the LR Goku event, all physical types. So if that's the case, you guys should be definitely grinding out strike event characters, the physical ones, especially that grandpa gohan i know i mentioned that a lot in previous videos grandpa gohan is going to be your leader because he's the free to play mini god lead he's key plus three hp attack and defense plus 30 percent, i believe so with that being said uh with that stage also comes the ability or should come the ability to use any freely droppable units in game like you are able to do on the lr freeze event it makes it a little bit more viable Let's go ahead and talk about the Legendary Campaign event. I will be doing a video covering the fourth stage when that comes out. So if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe so you get that information when it becomes available. Uh, step one is, or the first part of it, Legendary Challenge Campaign Missions. So this is really cool. By grinding out this event, essentially Bandai reimburses you for doing everything. So first off, getting LR Goku. That, you got 50 Dragon Stones. Now why 50 Dragon Stones? Probably because you're going to be using Dragon Stones in order to renew your stamina to go up against the event most likely the case uh step two level up everlasting super saiyan goku so that's the lr goku up to level 20 you get 10 elder kai's now if you want to you can go and feed elder kai's after you get him to super attack 10 and doken him or if you already have an lr goku at super attack 10 like myself i also have an additional super saiyan goku at super attack 10 just waiting for the metals i'm just gonna grind out those metals doken him and then feed him into his counterpart for super attack 20. Uh, that's going to be easy. And then the last one is activate Everlasting Legend Super Saiyan Goku's hidden potential to 100%. When you do that, you get every... So actually, you get a little bit more than all the orbs that it takes to uh, feed into him. Now, if you are lacking orbs, Bandai is going to allow you to try and get all the orbs by giving you the Technique Orb event daily. Now, I'm going to be grinding the hell out of that. Uh, luckily for myself, I do already have all the orbs required because I've just been collecting the tech ones since... You know, I just use them on Gotenks and that's about it. And maybe a little bit on Bardock. Uh, so, the, the one thing that does call into the question, getting him up to 100%, that must mean we're going to have the ability to get his base SSR form. So, that's probably going to be a thing. Uh, so, I'm, that's why I'm kind of assuming the physical stage is going to get added. And we're going to go over the strike events real quick, just so I can talk about them. But, um, yeah, that's that, that's going to be part of the LR event. The Technique Orb event starts today at 14, uh, 1600, so it's just like 4 o'clock PST, so I believe that's like around the login time, so just go ahead and check that out and start grinding that daily. You'd only do it once a day. Hopefully they do double rates, but I don't think they will. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the stamina is halved for the LR Goku event, which is cool, and for the Strike events, rank experience is up, which honestly I've been grinding it out already. I've been doing the Paikuhan one since today's Monday, because I want to get all the medals for Paikuhan. I want to get at least one of his, I want to get his strength one to Super Attack 10. So I'm going to be doing that. Then I'm going to be focusing on the TN. But I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, required stamina for Super Strikes is halved. That's cool. Character experience is increased. Okay. Awakening metal drops is doubled. So essentially, you, whenever you run it, you get two Awakening medals per run, which is cool. And apparently it says the character's drop rate is increased. I don't know how much that is actually going to be. I saw a couple posts saying it was 100%, and I saw a couple posts saying it's not guaranteed. I'm pretty sure it's not guaranteed. If it's increased, it doesn't mean guaranteed. They would say guaranteed if that was the case. Uh, additional availability for Super Strike events. So it looks like Extreme Types is going to be Friday to Saturday, and Super Types is Saturday to Sunday. So you will have Super Strikes to grind out every day of the week, which is awesome. Uh, actually, yeah, every day of the week, as it says, from 8-6 to 9-4. Take advantage of this while you can. So I'm, not, I'm just going to say this. I would personally not focus on the cards if you guys don't have really good teams, if you guys are new. Don't focus on the cards, focus on the medals. Because trying to go up against those medals, the 100 cost uh, cap limit, sucks. I mean, I was able to do it, but I have really good cards. I just ran like a double physical Broly lead because you have all the Cybermen are by default physical. Uh, or I ran a Super Vegito because of his ability to counter with Babas and the uh, Peel Offs who seal super attacks so that way he can just counter everyone. If you guys don't have cards like that, 
go for the medals. Uh, that's what I would just recommend. Go for the medals first. That would be that should be your first priority. Now, in terms of the strike events, um, I'm just going to briefly go over it here. Uh, again, if you want to see the full video, go ahead and check that out. I did a full in-depth analysis. Uh, TN is going to have a card in the future. He is for he's going to be the agility support unit in the future. So I believe he's the agility support. No, he's the tech support unit. Anyway, he's going to be a support unit for a super team. So, if you want to grind out enough medals to doke in nine of them to SSR, then you are them. That might be a little bit more viable for you. The Paiku one has two cards, but I'm going to focus on the strength one. And then Vegeta has the extreme uh, intelligence, I believe it is. He's an extreme, extreme intelligence support leader. Um, so, you can go ahead and grind him out. Plus, you have uh, the other nuking Vegeta uh, with um, a thing that was like the big bang attack, the intelligence one base form that he will feed into. Uh, so those are the three. Oh, it's funny that all three of them here, all three of these guys actually have farmable or can be fe feed into their farmable SSR units. Now, I'm not saying you have to doke them. Apparently, it costs a lot as any, um, but that's a, that's its own thing. The one thing I do also want to state is you're going to be getting seven Bulma and Turtle medals for clearing the Awakening medal stage on each of these. So if you are lacking those medals because you weren't around for the World Tournaments, um, this is going to be the way you do it. I probably would recommend just getting one to Super Attack 10 and then dokening them and then waiting for the Super Attack 15 later. Uh, there are going to be a couple here that I'm going to mention that you should probably grind out. <clears throat> if you're going to be looking forward to the LR Frieza event, you're going to want to grind out agility ones um, until LR Frieza gets its fourth stage, which probably isn't going to be coming for a little bit. So you're going to want to grind these guys out. Um, all of these are really good, actually. I like all the units. I typically run a Vegeta lead and the TN lead going up against the Freeze event at this time. But that's just because of the HP and the key support. So that's just what I do. But I'm not going to go into a team building guide there. Piccolo does feed into all the other Piccolos, LR Piccolo and the physical Piccolo and any other Piccolo that's currently in the game. So you can focus on him if you want. Now, the tech one is actually going to be pretty cool because uh, the tech one is what you're going to be able to use when you go up against Frieza's fourth stage. So you might also want to focus on this. Essentially, you're going to want to focus on four of the five types. Uh, Frieza's stage might become agility at some point soon. So you're going to want to grind out all of these. Now, I'd probably just recommend um, uh, Jackie Chan, Mighty Mask, and definitely the skinny boot tanks because or not boot tanks the skinny go tanks failure because the skinny go tanks failure becomes a um a mini god lead with key plus three hp attack and defense plus 30 percent he is very very viable uh the xeno trunks also feeds into his physical counterpart sorry i just want to go into here real quick so that way i could show you the uh got the actual god lead when he gets doken awakened so after you doken awakens obviously so also everyone costs seven of their own medals to token awaken um, plus the turtles and a couple other medals but yeah he's uh, tech type key plus three hp tech and defense plus 20 percent. i'm sorry 20 percent, not 30 percent. but yeah it, it requires seven of their own medals so double medal drop you're gonna have to do it at least four times to get one um i would just recommend at least going up to 14 if you plan on getting all of them to super tech 15 uh, and then it usually requires one of the gold medals and one of i think what are these the bronze medals i think they are um maybe not maybe it's the silver medals uh, and then two of well the, obviously the world tournament tour tournament medals but uh, the balmas and the turtles but anyway uh focus on that because the agility the uh, agility freeze event should be coming out at some point the fourth stage uh the intelligence one that's for the current goku event um uh, for this one i usually run the intelligence super strike uh space pirate lord chilled and as another leader i do the savage sovereign um king vegeta just because it's the hp and key buff again you could also just do android 16 as a leader it doesn't really hurt because both chilled and him have essentially the same leader skill it's just that android 16 gives you a defense buff but it's so small it's not really noticeable but you could do that if you want to um i still recommend going for him and uh, the strength ones now this is where it's going to get a little bit cool uh because if we do get the physical lr goku event you're going to want the grandpa gohan i know i've mentioned this a hundred times to you guys i'm going to drill this in until you guys do it <laughs> so strength super strike grandpa gohan is the mini god lead make sure you grind him out to at least super attack 10 you're going to want to use him he's going to be a staple on your mono strength team for free to play units so go ahead and grind him out 
You also have Trunks and, and Cyborg Tau, still you want to do them. Cyborg Tau uh, stunts, so that's pretty cool. And then the physical Super Strike events, again, that's the Fat Boo, or Fat Boo, Fat Gotenks. He is also his physical counterpart for the lead. Um, then you have uh, King Cold, and you have Mecha Frieza. So for these guys, they don't really actually have anyone to go up against, so these should be your last priority, in my opinion, if you're if you're going to be going for any of the LR Frieza or LR Goku events. But in terms of LR Frieza, at this point in time, since he is strength focused on the agility characters um, also if you're trying to uh, get the ssrs of your, their variants increase their super attacks increase this is where you're going to want to do it uh, then it's going to be the tech ones for the agility stage of the lr freeze event in the future so that's going to be like your fourth one fourth most prior highest priority because that's a one way off and then we don't know about these two but when we get more information about the lr goku event i'm going to put out another video saying which ones you should form on top of a little bit of team building that should be next week i believe um, outside of that, guys, I did want to talk about some PSAs, but we're already at the 10-minute mark, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'll be releasing a PSA video later on today. But thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.